Hi guys. <clears throat> I'm here to make this video because I am a real weight loss surgery patient still at <clears throat> over six years out. I can still make myself sick. And it's horrible. I feel so disgusting right now. I'm documenting this because I haven't documented it in a while. And truthfully, um, I realize that the longer I eat healthy, the better I do with keeping my portions in check. My pouch is doing a better job at stopping me in my tracks, um, for sure. I just tried to eat three pieces of pizza. I had no business whatsoever eating three pieces of cheese pizza. None. They weren't giant pieces. They were like actually small pieces. But I just had no business doing it. And now I'm in pain and I'm paying for it. Uh, I don't diet. I live a healthy lifestyle and I have a free day. One free day a week and today's the day. So we have pizza for lunch. Um, free does not mean whole hog though and I need to keep myself in check because three pieces of pizza for a weight loss surgery patient at even six years out is whole hog. It's not okay. My pouch is telling me it's not okay right now. And I need to listen to it and remember this. Because uh, it hurts. I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. I stood over the sink for a while. And I just feel like an idiot, you know? Um, I just made a video yesterday, you know, about how I am a health and fitness motivator. This ain't so motivating, but this is real life for me, and I'm also a food addict, and I will forever battle that, and my tool still helps me. It helps keep that demon under control for the most part. Um, but every once in a while it gets the best of me. And you know what? I sometimes forget and I feel like I'm normal. Like I'm just a regular person now. And I'm not as big as I used to be. And I can eat more than I used to be able to eat. But <clears throat> a normal people person could eat three pieces of pizza. I can't. I can't do it. Shouldn't do it. There's a reason why. I'm not able to do it and I made that choice and I need to remember before I hurt myself like this because it does hurt and I'm gonna be laying on this couch for quite a while because I just am incapacitated quite frankly um, I have to wait this out it's gonna take a while for this to work through my system and when it does, I'm going to feel like I need to take a nap because it's that exhausting when you do this to yourself. Um, I'm grateful that my tool is still working for me, that it does help with that kind of thing. There are advantages and disadvantages at six years out. And I say, you know, my tool's still working in that it will not allow me to eat <clears throat> three pieces of pizza or what have you, whatever it may be at the moment. Um, it did pretty much screw my metabolism all to hell, which I am <clears throat> fighting hard to bring it back because I really have no metabolism at this point, <clears throat> which is why I work out six days a week. And 
you know, maybe lose three pounds every two weeks, working out six days a week, burning, you know, 800, 900 calories a day with my workout, consuming 1,200 calories or less a day, and I'm losing three pounds every two weeks. It's not very good. So in a sense, my surgery did screw up some things. But, you know, you take the good with the bad. And, uh... I wouldn't change my decision. <clears throat> but this feels horrible. The pizza was good. I need to remind myself, though, that the pizza stops tasting good at a, after about the first piece, anyway. You don't really taste it anymore. You're just eating for the sake of eating. So, note to self. Next time, stop after the first piece. It's a hard lesson to learn. Alright, peace out.